So, this is the sequel that nobody asked for, so... A few months ago I made... Well, I was probably in the couch showcase, but it was kind of like, what does £25 get you in Genshin Impact? Because there's a stigma out here that you need to spend thousands of dollars to even get anywhere in this game, and... There's also a stigma that you need to spend like over a hundred dollars to get a single five star, and while that's right, there, there's easier ways of getting five star characters, and... In this video, I'm going to show you how much have I spent on Genshin Impact now, because... Three months ago, I know it's four months ago now, exactly, uh, I spent £25 and right now it is a, a lot more than that, but we'll get into that in this video on what have I gotten on my account since then. So yeah, if you guys enjoy today's kind of like account showcase and you want to see me like showcase maybe your accounts because uh, my Discord channel got deleted, um, you guys can feel, feel free to sub, you know, but you don't have to. So let's get into it. So in total, I've spent £88 on Genshin Impact. Now. I'm thinking, how could you do such a thing in your entire life? But I'll show you what I did. So, of course, I don't own the Gene outfit. I wasn't much of a fan of it, but I, I, I like it. But I'm not going to spend like 1680 Genesis crystals on it. That's one temple, roughly. But what I've done is I bought 10 Blessing of the Welcome Moons. But this is when they were £5, not 4 49 So, in the UK and other countries, they've actually lowered the price of Genesis Crystals and Welcome Moon and the Battle Pass by about 10% roughly. Not in the US though, because the US was the cheapest currency and it was actually, at once upon a time, it was cheaper to use a VPN to buy stuff in Genshin because it was. I didn't know about that until afterwards. I could have saved a lot of money for doing that, but... The main thing is, is that I've bought 10 of these Blessing of the Welcome Moons. I bought in November, and I just bought one a few days ago. So, I mean, technically the spoiler is 4 49 but... Yeah, I'm going to say I spent about £40 on... No, it's maybe 50 now. I think it's 50 on Blessings of the Welcome Moon. And that's about it, really. I've also... Uh, not bought anything in here. I don't generally buy these starter supply bundles. And I did spend... Well, it was $28.99 at the time on Genesis Crystals, but they were only for the Zhongli banner. And it was just so I can get Zhongli. So that's the only character I've ever actually spent money, you know, attempting to get was Zhongli. The rest of the characters I got through regular primos. Now, how'd I get these primos? Well, there's uh, there's many ways. First off, to Welcome Moon, I'd get, I'd get about 3,000, you know, primos a month from it. I also bought the Battle Pass twice as well, which I got the Serp... Not the Serpent Spine, that's, that's a claim I don't want. I got the Black Sword and the Deathmatch from it. You know, they're, they're fairly good, I like using them, but I bought the Battle Pass twice and that gives me about four pools of 680 primos and a lot of resources that I used. The only thing you want to probably know is my characters. Now, of course I have no weapons because if we go to my, my weapon event wish, there's no record of it because I didn't pull any. Permanent wish, I didn't get much recently, nothing of importance recently at all, but... You know, that's, that, that's there. And then character event wish, you know, that's when, like, a lot of the main stuff comes out, you know. I got minorly lucky with it, but my main catch is I never pulled in any weapon banners. And it's kind of reflected by my inventory, because I've only got the Amos both from the standard banner. A lot of these are, like, free weapons, if you think about that, that was a 10, you know, Paimon's Bargains, Paimon's Bargains, Event Rewards. Event Rewards. Event Rewards. So, battle Pass. Battle Pass, but like, and some of these are craftable as well. Like, like that's craft. Like, these are all craftable, I believe. So I didn't get much from like spending, you know, on the banners. Oh, I got another sack sword. I don't remember getting that. But my point is that I don't have many weapons. You don't really need five star weapons. Like, yeah, they're useful, but I mean, I'm happy with my four star weapons that I have right now. Like, I'm doing some decent amount of damage with them. The main thing that I like to collect is characters. Now, I have most of the characters in Genshin. Uh, not all leveled up, like most, like some of the little ones down here are level 20, but there's only a handful of characters I'm missing, and if you've seen all my videos, you know, you'd know that I'm missing Eula, because I, I lost it to Kaching. Zhao wasn't really much of a big fan of, Albedo, I was saving for Ganyu, Klee, just wasn't a fan, Venti I really want, but I can't get him for some reason, and Deluc, uh, he's the only one that he's, you know, he's, I've not lost 50-50 on yet, so... You also find out that most of my 5-star characters are actually C0. One of the most, I mean, all of them apart from Kaching because I got her C1 on standard. But those are all the five star characters that I have from my Welcome Moon. So I say for a hundred dollars, this was a pretty good haul. You know, I managed to get a lot of characters, and yeah, I had to play the game obviously, but so I didn't outright buy them. But I'd say it was pretty decent. And for other characters, let's say Bennett, I my Bennett C5, Zingcho C6. 
Uh, Ning Wong C2, official C4, that's not changed since April. Beidou's C6, which is very nice. Noelle C6, I got her finally. Uh, Sucro C1 still, Barbara C3, surprised I've not gotten many of those. Zhang Ling C2, I'm only surprised I've ever gotten one Zhang Ling from a, from a pool normally. Rosaria C1, Xinyan C5, Diana C6 now, that was kind of sad. Uh, Chongyun C4, Lisa C0, you know, C2 Amber for the meme. Sayu's now, C Sayu got a C3 Sayu. Uh, Kaya C1, which is pretty decent because it's hard to get these star characters on the banners. Uh, Razor is C3, and then we've got Yanfei C3. So I've gotten quite a lot of things by playing Genshin. But and obviously, you know, the main take back from this is that also, I've also not done any resin refreshes either. I mean, if we go to my inventory, I'm pretty sure I used a couple the other day, but I still have 49 fragile resin, which I don't know if I'm going to use anytime soon because I don't really care about resin that much as much as everyone else does. Because I, I mean, I, I barely use the 160 that I get, but you know, I digress. But you know, not, I mean, I've also hauled a bunch of artifacts as well from just free to play playing. But yeah, I mean, my re that's what $100 mainly gets you in Genshin. In fact, you don't get like too much, but it's a lot more than what people make it out to be. A lot of people I've noticed seem to make it out to be like you don't get much at all for $100, but if you spend $100 and play a lot of the game, then you do actually get a decent amount of stuff and a, and a pretty good amount of content as well. So yeah, that's basically what I managed to get for $100. You know, let me down below. Like, were you as lucky as me? What What does your account have? If you want me to do account showcases, let me know. Like, I've really wanted to do one for a while, but uh, my channel with all the UIDs got deleted for some reason, so I can't do that. But yeah, I hope you're having a great day, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the video soon. Have a really good one, everyone.